Although the original Chevy Volt was a technological breakthrough for GM, it unfortunately looked like a refrigerator. This one actually looks like a proper car and a very nice looking one at that. So let's poke and prod and see if this new Volt is better than the last. Under the hood is Chevy's advanced electric powertrain. This features two electric motors that work in tandem with a 1.5 liter range extender gas engine to provide up to 420 miles of travel. The EPA rates the 2016 Volt at 106 miles per gallon equivalent or 42 miles to the gallon when running under petrol power alone. But the main attraction of this vehicle is running electric only, where you can get up to 53 miles to the gallon before it needs recharging. Even today, many people perceive electric cars as simple, around town, two-seater affairs. Well, the fact is the Volt here is ready for a family of four. It's got four doors and four seats. In the back, it is a little short for a full-size adult. But you know what? It's really not bad for around town. Children have plenty of room, of course. And it's got a couple extra niceties that you wouldn't really expect. It has a power adapter plug right here, and it also has seat warmers, which is really nice. Once we're inside the Volt, we get an interior that's actually really amazing. You see, the previous generation Volt had an interior that was more frigid air than luxury car. This one is actually really nice. It has soft touch plastics, it has these lovely metal surrounds, and finally, they actually have proper buttons for the aircon. I get a set exact temperature. It even has seat warmers. Well, let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Now the touchscreen supports the basic Chevy functionality. We have navigation, we have phone, Pandora. It even has a cool button that shows me how my energy is being used. Everything from basic information like 85% of my energy is used by driving and 15% by the climate system. It also shows me energy flow, how much is being used from the gas power, how much of it is coming from pure electric. Moving along, we also have an extra cool feature here because this car supports Apple CarPlay. Hit a button up there and now we have what well, it's a screen designed by Apple and it looks really nice. I have Pandora and NPR on here. Um, I can also do voice messages and I can ask Siri questions. How old is Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift is 26. Moving over here, we have the shifter. It is a traditional shifter. There's nothing to relearn here. It has a rear view camera, very nice. And in the main gauge cluster, instead of traditional dials, we have a fully electric TFT. The left shows me the amount of battery energy available. On the right is how much fuel is available. We can alter it using buttons here on the steering wheel. We can see our speedo, total range, oil life, tire pressures with exact numbers, which I like. Now this car isn't advanced only in its drivetrain, it also has a lot of advanced safety features, such as blind spot monitoring and collision detection, which honestly can be really useful. If it saves you once, it's done its job and paid its dues. But enough talking about the inside, let's see how it drives. To drive a car that features such an advanced drivetrain may seem a bit daunting, but the fact is it drives just like any other car, and a pretty good one too, thanks in part to a whopping 294 pound-feet of torque from the electric motors. Off the line, it's quite easy to spin the front tires if you really get into the throttle. And even though it has not one or two, but three separate motors, you don't have to worry about any of that when driving. The Volt manages its powertrain seamlessly. The only way you'll be able to tell if it's running on gas or electricity is from indicators on the dash and a slight hum from the gas motor when engaged. The new Chevy Volt really brings the vision of an electric car with nearly unlimited range to the masses. But the biggest payoff is really if you take its electric side seriously. Add a level two charger to your house and you may never have to buy gas again.
For more on the 2016 Chevrolet lineup, visit AutoNation.com today. I'm your host, Ryan Douthit. Thanks for watching.